Here is a parabola. You learned in an earlier concept that when we graph a quadratic equation, the result is a parabola. If you look at this parabola, we have a vertex here, and we have a line of symmetry here. The line of symmetry divides the parabola into two equal sections. One right here and one right here. The vertex is where they meet. That in this parabola is the lowest point on the graph. If you look at this parabola, you can also see that there's a vertex here and that we could divide this parabola into two equal parts by using the line of symmetry. The vertex in this parabola is the highest point on the graph. Here's another graph of a quadratic equation. Now if we wanted to move this parabola up on the y-axis, we would call that a vertical shift. We can shift this parabola up on the line of symmetry or down. Now in this graph, you can see that the line of symmetry is actually the y-axis. That won't always be the case. But if we wanted to move it up to here, we could, or move it down to here, we could. And the vertical shift is determined by the equation. Let's take a look at an example, graph a parabola, and then look at shifting that parabola on the line of symmetry y equals 2x squared. Here's our quadratic equation. Now let's set up a table of values and then look at graphing this equation on a coordinate grid. Here's a set of values. Now let's graph the parabola. Here's that parabola graphed. Now notice that the intersection on the y-axis, the y-intercept you could say, is at 0, 0. Notice that the c value in this equation is 0. We didn't even write it because it's 0, but we could put plus 0. Let's use that information and see if we can cause a vertical shift for this parabola. Here we have the equation y equals 2x squared plus 1. Now just like in the last equation, 0 was in this spot. So 0, 0 was the y-intercept. Here we have a positive 1. So the y-intercept is going to be 0, 1. And let's look at what happens to our table of values. Now, let's graph the first equation again, and now let's graph this equation. Notice that when we get to 0, we're at 0, 1, which is the same as our y-intercept. Let's take a look at this graph. Here's the first parabola. Now let's look at the second. Here's our parabola given the vertical shift. Now we could also shift it down. If we shifted it to here, then our equation would be like this. Where the y-intercept would be 0, negative 2. And we could find the values to graph the parabola from there. What if we had a vertex here that opened up? Again, you could write that as y equals 2x squared minus 4, where the y-intercept would be 0, negative 4. So you can find many hints in the actual equation as to how to successfully and accurately graph a parabola and show the vertical shift.